So we cut a, cut a couple holes in the back panel here to get the uh, hot water, cold water. Uh, in the and drain. In the drain. And uh, I think we nailed it. <laughs> hey, first try every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today we're out here at the ranch and we have a new arrival. So our black cow had a calf. She's playing hide and go seek with me right now. You can see her little legs. He or her, I don't know yet. Super new. Look at that cute little thing. So we got the little brown one and the little black calf. Oh, it's a little bull. You can see some huevos underneath there. Why are you doing, little fella? So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, we noticed that she wasn't showing up, the mama cow, and um, that wasn't like her. She likes to come up and get her range cubes. She's actually the most docile one we have. Um, then there's this one, and then there's the crazy black one, which she's like a ghost so anyway which y'all already knew that the the black cow wasn't showing up for about a week to two weeks somewhere in there we would come and feed range cubes and the brown brahma would show up but the other black one wouldn't so we knew something was going on and also the little brown calf stopped showing up so we kind of figured that the two calves were staying together which they were so hey we actually figured something out at some point we'll probably be getting rid of him because you want to try to keep heifers but get rid of little bulls so it's just the way it is um been getting a lot done out here uh some of it by myself and Birdie, some of it from other trades that we've had coming out. Um, I did have Chuck and Doug show up and we worked on the cabinetry in the kitchen and in the master bathroom. And I will roll some of that footage right now. We are setting cabinets. There's Birdie. Say hello, Birdie. We got a lot to do today. We're gonna be setting pretty much the whole kitchen is my goal for today. Oh, C9 just showed up. And hopefully that happens. We got Doug's here, old Dougie Fresh, C9, and Birdie, my beautiful bride. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Right. That bit worked better? Yeah. A little, a little sharper. We got old Dougie Fresh right over here. I would say, say hello, Doug, but he'll just say, hello, Doug. Hello, Doug. I didn't even say it, Doug. There's C9. Remember C9? Do you remember him? Do you remember him? You better. If you don't, you should. So we just got done screwing this one down. We got this front corner, cause you got in this front corner, you have your two by four stacked up all up in here to make your wall corner. So we know there's plenty of wood right there. That's going there. This is a full height cabinet. And uh, there's gonna be an upper right here above the refrigerator. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do the upper right there, okay? You got it, boss. When I'm going cabinet to cabinet, always pre-drill, so that way this wood, this hard wood doesn't splinter. Hey, Birdie, what kind of wood is this on the face? What kind of wood is that? Alder. Alder? Naughty alder.
You need to go to you, Doug. Turn it. There you go. Right there. Now, now go up. Push up against in the corner. There you go. All the we going all the way up? I guess so, huh? You're going to hit the tops. Let me get the bottoms. Okay. That right there, folks, is an official plumber's crack. I'm going to get close up. Master certified plumber's crack. They don't, they don't come like this. You call Roto-Rooter, the Buyer Brothers, some yeah. of those other folks. Yeah. You don't get this same kind of crack. No. no. You call HPC, though. Woo. Master certified plumbing crack. Yeah. So we cut a, cut a couple holes in the back panel here to get the uh, hot water, cold water. Uh, and the drain. And the drain. And uh, I think we nailed it. <laughs> hey, first try every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. <laughs> Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. Well, we got all those cabinets installed, and here they are. How's that look? Got the oven put in the other day. Got to put these. Eventually, you're going to go over here. We're just going to wait for flooring. We got the center island still to do. Painting is coming along pretty good. It's taking a little bit longer than expected, but they are almost done. I think today is their last day. Show y'all in the hall bath. Tile guy is here. His name is Angel. He's going to be starting in here. And let's see all the tile in here. Oh, we got these cabinets put in in the master. This is pretty good. And I got I just got that window in the other day. I had to bust the brick out on the outside and cut the hole for that but put that in tile will be done here tile will be done here so we're moving right along all right so the tile guy is here and he is prepping for the shower pan liner that's going to go in here and i went to the hardware store and picked up this pretty neat shower drain i thought it was square you can flip it and have this side up or what we're going to do is you fill this portion in with the same tile that's going to go on the floor. So the water actually goes in right here in this lip in between here and here. Uh, that's pretty neat. And then it also, you pull that out and then you have a hair trap, you know, for sediment and just whatever gets caught in there. So that way it doesn't go down the drain. Like if uh, Birdie were to lose her wedding ring or something, it, it would go down there and get caught in that little basket. So <clears throat> he's going to get going here. I glued that up. I got to take this bib off and that bib off. So that way they can slide the tile right on with a little hole instead of having to cut a big hole or cut the tile in half to get it over this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And remember, I use this True Blue pipe sealant, put that on the threads, and uh, works real good to seal stuff up. On a shower pan liner, what they're gonna do is they're gonna tie that in I'll take this clamping ring loose and they'll put the shower pan liner right here right on this edge they'll cut a hole right in the middle and then they'll put this back down turn it tighten these bolts down and then the shower pan liner actually goes over and turns up and it you screw it to this wall and then they'll put the sheetrock back on the walls there. And so that way 
the water as it runs down the wall, it never can get behind that shower pan liner. So this is that shower pan liner. It's just a thin material, probably 1 16th thick. And like I said, you just run it up the wall. Let me lay it out here on the ground and I'll show you. So you just take that liner, you run it up your wall like that, and you cut a hole where your drain's at. You screw this to the wall, put the sheetrock in front of it, the tile goes on in front of that, and there you go. That's your waterproofing. Gotta have a uh, shower pan liner if you're gonna do a tile shower if you don't have a base, because tile and grout are not waterproof. Water gets through it, and then you get mold issues and a whole bunch of other stuff. So there's your tech tip for the day. All right, so my tile guy didn't want to be on video. Some people don't like to be on video. I'm not one of those people, but look what they got done so far. Man, this is looking good. He even put a little soap alcove or uh, shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that. We got one in here, and we got one in the master shower area but i think bernie did a pretty good job at picking out this tile and we're gonna have a little that little strip up top here so um next video y'all see all this will probably be done and i'll show y'all so stay tuned that concludes this episode of texas bird adventures if you're new to my channel consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when i post new videos Check me out on Instagram at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff up there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies.